We don't know much about Uranus because honestly, we don't go there very often. In fact, we've only been to Uranus once and there wasn't much to see. It was dark, cold, and quiet. But what we do know about Uranus is that it's pretty weird. First of all, Uranus is sideways. It has a tilt of 98 degrees while most planets are between zero and 28. Second, it has a clockwise rotation, which is opposite to every planet except Venus. So yeah, Uranus is very odd. Many scientists believe a large object slammed into Uranus in the past, causing it to flip over sideways. Other scientists, through the use of computer simulations, have suggested that Uranus was not impacted by one large object, but by many smaller objects. Uranus was discovered by a curious young man by the name of William Hershey Squirts Herschel in 1781 in Great Britain. Later, when Voyager 2 flew by Uranus in January of 1986, it gave us the first close-up photographs of Uranus. And if you look very closely, you can see the dark spot of Uranus. When you look at Uranus, doesn't it just take your breath away? Now, Uranus gets around. The path that Uranus is on is long and wide. To be specific, 84 years and 5.6 billion kilometers in diameter. Additionally, a day lasts 17 hours. And because Uranus is almost 100,000 miles in circumference, that means Uranus is spinning at almost 6,000 miles per hour. Fascinating. Uranus is four times wider than Earth. The Earth can fit inside Uranus 63 times. It's not only big, it's dark cold and produces a lot of wind. Uranus's winds go opposite to the rotation of the planet and can reach speeds of up to 560 miles per hour. Additionally, silent but deadly gases like methane float around Uranus day and night. Uranus is mostly made up of hydrogen, helium, and methane gases and likely contains a rocky core about the size of Earth. While the surface of Uranus is extremely cold, around negative 365 degrees Fahrenheit, it is estimated that deep inside the center of Uranus, it's around 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It was also recently discovered that the upper atmosphere of Uranus contains hydrogen sulfide, which produces that nice rotten egg smell we all know and love. So scientifically speaking, Uranus smells like farts. Due to the volatile conditions, the pressure and extreme temperatures of Uranus, it can't support life as we know it. Uranus is a desolate, lonely, and empty place. Well, not too lonely. There are lots of particles floating around Uranus. These particles form the 13 rings around Uranus. The rings are thin and dark, but if you look really close, you can see the wrinkles between the rings of Uranus. And let's not forget the many moons of Uranus. There are 27 moons in all. My personal favorite moon is Puck. Uranus can be seen with a naked eye. In fact, on a good night, I can see Uranus from my bedroom window. And sometimes I just gaze at it for a while and take in all its splendor. If you want a better view of Uranus, you'll need a mirror. When you look at Uranus up close, it's quite beautiful. Will we go back to Uranus? Yes, Uranus is definitely going to be probed in the future. The question isn't if we will probe Uranus, the question is when. There are several plans on how we can penetrate Uranus. NASA plans to probe it, the ESA wants to probe it, China wants to probe it, and other countries will likely want to investigate Uranus. There are probably aliens that also want to probe Uranus. It's endless. Everyone wants to probe Uranus. It's really just a matter of cost. If we can find a way to make it cheaper to probe Uranus, we could probe, penetrate, and investigate Uranus day and night, year after year. Very exciting times. Now let me know what you think we should name the new probe in the comments below. Some notable suggestions from the Twitter community include Advanced New Uranus Space Mission Better Uranus Telemetry Tracking Deep Dive, Operation Butt Plug, Taurinus, Eurectum, and Wandering Finger. Well, I hope I've unraveled some of the wonders and mysteries of Uranus. I don't know what the future holds for Uranus, but I hope Uranus will be around for years to come because I personally love discovering new things about Uranus. One of the most fascinating and titillating activities one can do is to explore Uranus. It's a breathtaking experience. In the next video, we'll discuss my arse. Please sub and like if you love Uranus.